G'day, welcome to the next episode of Gav's Electric Car Conversion. Uh, as you can see in this episode, we have the battery racks to build up. Um, I've tidied up the wiring and got everything out of the way for the uh, new battery racks to be installed. Now, um, the batteries I'm going to be using are medium capacity deep cycle batteries. Uh, I have one I prepared earlier out of cardboard. So, the problem I've got is I've got 12 of these things to fit in the car. I want to get 6 in the front and 6 in the back. But as you can see, they're bloody big. Alright, I've got the uh, cardboard battery mock-up here. This is four batteries. Now, it almost goes in. I just need to go out another, uh, another few centimetres. Um, I think I can take these two floppy pieces of metal out that don't do anything. see the cutting here, it's actually really easy. I thought I wouldn't have the skills for this, but anyone can do it. Almost got the battery box in, it's just this side's hitting it now, but this side's all perfect. Marvellous. Alright, I'll uh, slice a bit of this side off and see how it fits then. Uh, I'm going to see if I can actually fit five in the front here. Look at that! <laughs> Spot on! Alright! Good stuff! So we can fit six in there. I have five here and one next to the motor. Fantastic! I'm now in the process of creating the rear battery box that will sit in the boot of the car. I'm just going to finish this up, drop it off to the welder and see, uh, see how it goes. I'm now installing all the cables for each battery for the recharging system. Uh, now to help me with this I've bought myself a new file which for some reason is called a round bastard file. <laughs> Pretty unfortunate name. Alright the recharging sockets installed now. Just got to make these two into one plug and uh, in the meantime I'm going to play with my new vacuum pump. I'm just going to try using one of this old battery here. Oh! Jeez, what a noisy little sucker. Fire out. i to find a way to quieten this thing down. Oh, oh. It works. We're now sorting out the power cords that will be recharging the battery. Rob's joined us and we're going to start toning out which cable is which. Alright, so Rob's going to attach a signal to one end and then I go about trying to find that this end. It's another one. Makes life easy, this method. We're now creating the auxiliary battery tray. Now the proof, does it fit? Perfect, look at that! Get a tie downs and it'll be all done. Brilliant! This is the recharging system I have so far. As you know, I've installed a recharging socket and a recharging plug. I've also installed an ignition blocking relay so that when I do plug the charger in for the car to recharge, it kills the ignition. Not only that, but the turbo timer I've installed goes into standby mode, which will be connected to the rear ventilation fans, and the funky recharging light on the dashboard fires up. How cool is that? It's another thing ticked off the list. Now putting in the shelf for the vacuum pump, we've decided to put it in there. That's pretty sturdy. Yep. Good stuff. So far so good. Alright, 
Time to install the back racks. They've been resized. Time to chuck them in. I'm going to have to put the rear rack closer to the back of the car because of the dips and hole in the back of the boot. Uh, it's not so good for weight distribution, but um, I haven't got much choice really if I want it to be really strongly secured to the floor. Right, now I have some 5mm uh, thick slices of steel, which I bought the other day. Uh, I'm going to drill holes in these, and these will be the anchors underneath to hold it in tight. You can see here the brackets underneath the car, which is holding in the racks. Uh, they're bolted in 26 times. There is no way it's going to move. The rear racks have been installed at last. Waiting for the batteries. Now it's time for the front racks to be installed. At last, the front racks are in, and as you know, the rear racks are bolted in as well. So now, I can move on to installing the control panel and wiring everything up ready for the batteries.